these are great this is exactly what i wanted this oh this is exactly what i wanted <laughs> Right, haven't done one of these in a while. Feels like forever. Heading into the city, I need to. What do I need to do? Oh, you know those top shop mules, the purple ones. I haven't returned them yet because I was. I went to Milan and then I came home. I got the flu and then I had teeth extracted, so I just haven't had the chance. Anyway, I'm going in now before the return window closes. Um, men's corduroy blazer, top shop. Uh, polo neck i'm wearing my mum's gifted to me necklace had that since i've been about i don't know 16 the mizoma coin um necklace and then these are the levi what you call them the wedgie jeans pretty good i like them and oh you do not want to see the bottom part of me do you the loewe and i've got a pair of ugly chunky dad like trainers on don't worry they're not designer just something i swear when i used to work out oh and the glasses the glasses are zara all right i'm out of here i saw these on the mango website and i fell in love with them but i know that their 41 is just not gonna fit me so i've been um talking about white boots and particular white western boots i was looking at these from mango I'm just seeing if they've got my size. She's checking for me now. Oh my god, they're amazing. Oh, damn you, big feet. Oh god, this is so good. Just another day in New York City. So for the purposes of my curiosity, I'm going to try on those ugly dad sneakers from Balenciaga. Let's see if they even have them in stock. I'm on Soho, in Soho. Hi. Fancy. Uh, I don't see them out on display. Hold on. 39, okay. Gosh, they are quite heavy though. Yes. They're very comfortable, but they are heavy. Oh my god. I wonder if they run... Pretty true to size. Pretty true to size. Some people find they run a little bit big, but in general they're pretty true. Right. I like your blazer. I'm oh. like obsessed with Porter Road right now. So am I. Came back around. Behold, the ugliest shoe you've ever seen. See, we run out of their cards, but I just wrote down their information oh. one of ours. Thank you. So they definitely do bag repairs for us, and they definitely do some shoes. So for sure, they're definitely trusted. So I have this old um, palette from NARS, which they sent me as well. Um, I'm obviously on their PR gifting list, um, like for Tarte and for NARS, because they're sending me a lot of their new things that come out. So this is the palette for blush, blush and contour. This one here is like a rose color, and I actually kind of like the look it, it gives. So not bad. I better stop because I'm starting to look like a clown. So what is this H&M old H&M jumper and I'm wearing it with these Zara culottes, pink culottes. You guys have seen this before in one of my lookbook videos um, and I love that it's pink and I love that it's corduroy because it's perfect for spring of course. Right I'm out of here. Wait it's so warm today it's unbelievable it's just oh spring is here oh god i think i just passed my car my youtube video went up at least today it went up um for the spring how to build a capsule wardrobe for spring um i have some things coming oh i might as well show you one of them that came i told you didn't i i told you 
that I was looking for some kind of Western white boot. And these are by Gani, and they've got that croc finish to them and that contrasting stitch. I wasn't too sure about the contrasting stitch at the beginning, um, but I actually kind of, it's grown on me now versus if it was like a completely white boot. I like the outline to really like define the Western kind of uh, detailing. Um, it's exactly the same as the brown Gani boots I own. Um, and I love those to death, to death and back. So I figured stick with what you know, you know how much you love the shape of the Gani boot. Why not just get the white one? Tomorrow on the vlog, you're going to see the mango version. I'll, in, I'll insert a picture here so you can see what the mango one looks like. But that is coming tomorrow. Um, and when that does, I will just do like a comparison between the two and see what I like more. These are great. This is exactly what I wanted. This, oh, this is exactly what I wanted. So, we shall see what the mango ones look like. Oh god, I'm so excited. I can't even... Oh, this is going to be so interesting. Okay, so these are the Gani ones on me. I'm wearing them with old men's drop crotch jeans and a an very old jumper. I have no idea where I got this. It's, it's been a while. And I'm wearing it with this um, necklace that I got. Actually, I'll insert the name of who sent this to me. It's uh, basically a little coconut tree, little palm tree. And it's just my little reminder of St. Lucia. And the boots, the Gani boots. Oh God, I love these boots so flipping much. It's just, you know when you just know you've just been missing something in your wardrobe and you get it? Oh, for bloody Pete's sakes, man. This is it for me as far as like a shoe. It was definitely the white Western boot. I've got to stop talking about it because you lot are probably sick of hearing it by now. Okay, so you lot know what this is. This is right from Artis. So Michael just picked it up. So what, tell me what you think it is. No idea. A posh toothbrush. And there's another one there, a bigger one. Right there, hold on. This one. So, right, so that's what it looks like inside. What the hell? What do you think those are? No. <laughs> Then I have to comb my eyebrows? No. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, I know what it's for. To comb my nose hair. You give up? Yeah. It's to apply makeup. Okay. Feels nice though, isn't it? Wow. It's very soft. It's really, really soft. And it's not for brushing your teeth. <laughs> Right, so the things I talked about from the last video about spring, how to build a capsule wardrobe. Remember those jumpers I mentioned? Well, the delivery came. I'm not sure if this is a better angle at showing you what I'm wearing, but it's a bit of a close up so you can see. It's the dress. I love the idea of just wearing like dresses now and just layering it over like your jeans. It's, if these boots are still available, I'll link to them because they're just like life saviors. They go with so much. So errands are done, dropped off the reformation dress that sold. And I'm gonna go home and we can decide on the boots. I'll open up that package that came today as well with you. Because I've not done an unboxing, they call them unboxings, yeah. I've never done one properly with you. Have I, have I, I don't think I've ever done an unboxing. Okay, so those pink trousers. These are the ones that I just saw in the thrift shop and I did the neck test and it matches at the back. The way to test if a pair of pants will fit you. This is generally speaking. If a pant goes like, like that and then goes in, then it won't really work. But if it's like a normal average kind of pant like this, what you would do is see if the, from left to right, if, this, if these two ends meet on the back of your neck, then most likely the pants will fit you. So, Let's try them on. But before I try these on, 
first of all, like I said earlier, I haven't really done an unboxing with you lot. But anyway, I just figured sod it. I have not um, actually opened this until right this moment. So I'm seeing this with you. Um, and this stuff that's in here is the stuff that I mentioned in Tuesday's video. So, um, yeah, it came. The stuff arrived. So let's look at it together. Oh my God. <laughs> wait, wait. What have I got in here? I forgot. Oh yeah, what's that? Oh yeah, that dress. Oh God. Okay, all right. Let's just let's just do this. Ah! <laughs> Remember I told you about the pastel um, knits and how I love the Ganny one, and then the H and M has their own version. Okay, so here it is. God, this is looking a bit blown out. So I've adjusted where I put the camera, so you can see a bit better. So this is the the yellow one. <sighs> I actually like it. And, oh God, I love it. But, but, I have to try it on. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I like this, I think this is good. I think this is a keeper. Let's keep going, shall we? So, God, it's so pretty. It's really, really nice. This is the pink one. Oh, I love this, all right? So this is what you can see how it looks in real life, in case you're wondering, and then I'll try on as well so you can see, but at least you lot can see like, okay, what does this look like in person before I have to like, press add to cart got like a slightly full sleeve as well see that i really like that that shape how wide it is and it goes down to this defined narrow cuff oh this is good this is good look this is the large by the way size wise in the jumper i really do. oh i love it oh it's so nice i like it i really i really like this jumper this is so nice and look at the sleeves that narrow cuff, it's just like little details like that. Here's the corduroy um, pink jacket. Let's see how this looks. I don't know. Actually, you know what? If I just, because it's what I'm wearing it with, that's why it's throwing me off. I even like it like as a top, almost like a shirt, if that makes any sense. So, hmm. I like the color though. The color is really, really pretty. Ah! And then I can talk about the boots. Oh. You're not on Instagram, you already know. Last thing is a dress. And I picked the orange and I got it in a size 10. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's one of those dresses I need to see on. I like it though. It says bright orange. Oh, look how bright that is. <laughs> I love it. More like that color in person. Okay, so it's coming out really, really like all right, so here's the H&M dress. It's got lots of wrinkles on it. Um, no, <laughs> it doesn't fit the way I would want a dress to fit. And also I think it's too short. Let me show you the boots right now. So I'm a lover of cowboy boots for as long as I know myself. Before I even started my blog, I loved cowboy boots and used to wear them. So anyway, um, I got the Ganny ones. They've got like that contrasting stitch, which my brown ones do as well. And I love those to death. And because I love those so much, and I love the shape of the, the Ganny boots, I thought, well, get what you know. Oh God, but I do love them though. Um, I love that squared off toe at the front, uh, just that shaft, the little tab on the back. But it was between these and Mango versions. And here are the ones from Mango. Now these have been sold out in my size worldwide. Look, somebody found me a foil, one of the Mango ones. Okay, so these are the mango ones. Uh, the major difference I can see straight off the bat is the shaft. It's more narrow and it's taller. And also they have this line going across here on the front, right there. Okay, so that's that. The heel is almost the same. They're slightly taller though, because look at the Ganny ones. Can you believe that somebody found them for me? Oh, my foot goes in, but they are like, like you just feel like they're a little bit tight. So. Um, I think this is a case of needing like a good stretching spray and then just wearing them and just seeing how, just wearing them and see how that goes. Um, and I loved these so much that, yeah, I know it's a problem. It's an absolute problem. So it's a matter of really deciding, because I think these are going to be a keeper because I think these are badass, between the mango and the Ganny. So I've got the Ganny's on first. Tell me what you think. They just feel so good on. Um, God, I just don't know. This thing I can say to you about these, 
Um, I've got room to wear socks with them if I wanted. Because Mango came out with what they did, I'm sort of trying to decide now what are the best ones to go with. Um, all right, yeah, so now you can see, at least on me, what the galleys look like. Okay, so these are the mangoes. See, the shaft is much taller. What do you prefer on me? The gani on this leg. All right, I asked Daria, my girlfriend, she went with the mango. And then I asked Michael, my husband, who was not into fashion at all, he's into cars, and he went with the Ganny. Yeah, so here's the, here's the black. For anyone who's considering getting them, this is what they look like on me. Just so you know what these look like. This is just an FYI for anyone who was interested in the black mango, at least you can see what, how they look, but they're kind of badass, right? So in closing, just let me know between these and these, the mango or the Ganny ones, tell me down below you guys helped me with the balenciaga knife mules and like i think 90 percent of you said the balenciagas and i completely agreed with you um, plus they fit me that was a big deal the gannies fit me these are a little bit tight but they do fit so yeah that is that is it so tell me what you think this is like a half vlog half non-vlog youtube video so it's kind of weird but anyway Love to hear your thoughts. The black ones are staying though. The black mango boots, love those, love those. Those are staying. Um, it's just a matter of deciding between these. And a massive thank you to the girl. I'm gonna give her a shout out on the screen here to her Instagram handle. She actually has nothing on her feed, but I'll still do it anyway, because when you not help me, I gotta say thank you. Oh, I just, just tell me what you think, okay? All right, I gotta stop saying that. It needs to be like, oh, look, look. See, as soon as I do this to the neck, I love the dress again. But anyway, that is my lot. Um, thank you for watching as always. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, so I'm gonna stop waffling. Enjoy your weekend, my loves. I will see you next Tuesday, and it's gonna be a special video, actually. I was gonna say what it was gonna be, but I'm not. It says, <coughs> oh my God. All I can say is that it's a special video. That is it. Have a good weekend and I will see you next week. Bye. I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.